Hello, my name is Alex Irons and I'm currently standing outside the Roundhouse. Today is Saturday the 31st of August and tomorrow is the beginning of iTunes Festival here in Camden, London. As you may or may not be aware, Lady Gaga is opening this year's festival and, and a few eager fans have been camping outside the Roundhouse since Wednesday, I think. But uh, we're going to go talk to a few of them now, so do you want to come with? I am outside the Roundhouse with three very, very starstruck fans. Apparently she's just come outside and I've missed her. <laughs> but uh, would you like to introduce yourselves and, yeah, how, how do you feel? Um, my name's Vicky and I am ecstatic at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> ecstatic? <laughs> just, yes, just a little bit. <laughs> a bit. And yourself, mate? My name is Jack and I just burst into tears about ten minutes ago. <laughs> so I'm just... It's surreal, it doesn't feel real at all. I'm Shannon and Gaga just signed my wallet. I was really like, <laughs> I just threw it out, like, please sign it, and I managed to get pictures with her, so I was really happy about that. And... That is, that's awesome. Your wallet, of all things. Yeah, I was, it was the only thing I could throw at her, like, please. <laughs> so, it's, it's better than nothing, I suppose. Yeah. But uh, how long have you guys been queuing for this gig? Well, I've been here since about 8 o'clock last night. Yeah, I've been here about uh, nine o'clock this morning. I got here this morning as well, but a friend of mine has been here since Wednesday. Wow, so, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, she's been trying to save us like a spot near to the front so we can get just close enough to see her. You could have come here tomorrow and you probably still would have had a place at the front, to be honest. Yeah, but that's not a looking risk at, you can take. Yeah, <laughs> looking at the queue, it does look a bit that way, but I'm, I wouldn't risk, I wouldn't risk it. No. It would be my second time seeing her live and I want to get as close as possible. Would you risk it for a chocolate biscuit? Yes. More than a chocolate biscuit. <laughs> Much more than a chocolate biscuit. If she's influenced you, how so? Well, um, I'm an artist and she's helped me improve. Um, I actually got my, some of my artwork to her just now. And yeah, she's just helped me grow as an artist and as a person, really. Awesome. Yeah. She's just helped me grow as a person. I don't have any specific things that she's helped me with. She's helped me with life, basically. I'm a pianist and when I stopped playing I started listening to, uh, listening to Gaga and her acoustic versions and that really inspired me to keep going on and going on and I've actually gotten quite far with it just recently so I'm really happy and grateful for that. Just through Gaga alone? Uh, well it's not just Gaga but like she's my main inspiration, I base a lot of my work around her. So. What would you say is your favourite song by Lady Gaga? Marry the Night. Why? To me that is her most inspirational song it, it keeps me going if, if ever I feel down I listen to the song and it, it it tells me to pick myself up and just get on with it and keep going and keep fighting I'd say mine's a, a, a tie between Bad Romance because that's when I first fell in love with her and Born This Way because it just spoke to so many different people in so many different ways it's so powerful my favourite Gaga song would probably be Hair because it's, well, I have long hair. and um, <laughs> You're not the only one, don't worry. <laughs> she's talking about how you should be brave and not worry and be as free as your hair and I just really love the lyrics from it. It means a lot to me. And if you could ask her any question, what would you ask her? Can you adopt me? <laughs> why? The obvious reason, but why? I don't know, I just think she's amazing. I'd want to spend more time with her without sounding like a creep, but... <laughs> Is that possible? Probably not. <laughs> Will you marry me? <laughs> That's even worse. <laughs> it's Lady Gaga, you can't not ask her to marry you. If you get the option and you get the chance, I'm going to ask her to marry me. Um, I think I'd just ask her if she, she's okay, how she's doing, really. <laughs> of all the things. Yeah. Hi Gaga, um, are you alright? Yeah. You seem a bit tense. Yeah, I'm I fine. Th I think more than a question, I would just thank her. Really, just thank her for everything she's done and for just being her. Has she influenced your life, and if so, how? She's made me become a better person. Like she's made me feel stronger about myself. Like she always stuck up for being bullied when she was in school, and I always looked up to her for that. So I've been through some, a lot of tough stuff from school as well. What would you say is your favourite Lady Gaga song? I can't choose. <laughs> Um, I do I do really like Heavy Metal Lover. She's off her Born This Way album. Well, I do love Heavy Metal. Song's about me. Ooh, I should have been here earlier. I could have met her. <laughs> and if you could ask her any question, what would it be and why? 
what shower gel do you use? It's a bit creepy. <laughs> I'll probably ask her, who's your biggest inspiration? And she'll probably say her fans anyway, but I will probably ask her that. How long have you been queuing? Uh, for this concert, I got here on Wednesday, but I was doing stuff for my PGCE, so that had to be a priority, but I did camp 10 nights for her last year. Cool. Why do you love Lady Gaga? Um, I'm over a really dark time in my life. Like I'm a very bubbly, confident, outgoing person. Like Right now, I'm really happy, cheery, love to be around people. At one point in my life, someone broke my heart and literally left me devastated. Lady Gaga's music empowered me. It taught me that it's okay to be heartbroken but to have self-respect and dignity and not to let those sorts of things like keep you down like to hold your head high and to walk on um, so essentially like she's kept me so strong as a person and got me literally for a really dark time in my life you said how she got you through a dark time in your life but has she influenced you in any way? Yes, um, for my degree, I actually wrote an academic piece of work on her, looking at Adorno, um, Theodore Adorno's um, post-Second World War theories on pop culture. So essentially, yeah, she's helped me uh, widen my understanding um, academically, but also, like, I think music-wise, people see her as just a pop artist, but she's much more than that. A lot of her lesser-known, probably B-side, unreleased songs uh, are quite influenced by electronica, um, German trance dance, EDM. So for me, that's kind of like broadened my taste in music, and it's made me a bit more open-minded to try new genres. What would you say is your favourite Lady Gaga song? I can't pick one, but... Um, Oh God, my favourite, if I had to just listen to one song for the rest of my life, it would probably be Shiza. That song's just amazing. <laughs> my friends laugh at it because at the start it's like, um, she makes a pun, like she's saying, um, I don't speak German, but I can if you like. And my friends, when I'm singing that along, they're like, but you can speak German and you will if you like. So, and it's um, obviously it's inspired by the German language and it's, it's obviously not a lyric, German lyric song, but it, people think it is and it makes German cool. So yeah, it's good. If you could ask Lady Gaga any question, what would you ask and why? I'd ask her what she thinks. Oh, that's so hard. There's so many questions to ask. I'm, I'm trying to think of an answer on this spot. If I could ha honestly ask her any question, um, I'd ask her what her proudest achievement is. Like, what specifically is the pinnacle of her like proudest moment? And probably a second question, I'd probably ask her who's her favourite male gay icon. Uh, how long have you guys been queuing? Um, well, we've just got here, but we've been at our hotel since Wednesday, like just sleeping on the street, like homeless people. Even without the sleeping bag? We've had a sleeping bag, but no tent and no pillow, and we've just froze. That's, even though there's a whole group of you didn't keep like together for body warmth, or just like, nah, forget nah. this. I'll, I'll be better a few on my own. Primark sheets. <laughs> a few sheets from Primark. A few sheets from Primark did it, to be honest, on the first night. But after that, it just didn't feel. They all got stolen on the second day, unfortunately. Really? No yeah. way. Who steals sheets from Primark? I don't know, but they were front of the queue wearing them when she came out today. <laughs> Must have been a bit cold. You should have nicked them back. But uh, why do you love Lady Gaga? I don't even know, like it's just been for years now, like I can't even tell you why and I don't even know like how but we just do and yeah, we follow her everywhere. It's, I think it's the music and the, the, the message she spreads is why we love her so much. I don't know, I, don't, I, I just don't know, I don't like love her, I just love her, like, I want her to be my sister or my mum or something, I love her in that kind of way. So you'd follow your mum or your sister all around the world? Yeah, no I don't actually, <laughs> only if they were Lady Gaga. Fair no. point, there's, there's an excuse for everything I'm sure. There is, there is. I think she's like so down to earth and she really understands people and her music is amazing, but it's a combination of everything really. She's got a lot to offer compared to a lot of other people. She connects with a lot of other people more. She understands everyone, really. She doesn't act like a superstar, and then sometimes she really does act like a superstar. But, yeah. Cool. Has she influenced your life, and if so, how? Yeah, because when I was younger, she she helped everyone out with really bullying and be, come, coming to like terms with yourself. So I think everyone's grown a bit from that with confidence. 
Yeah, it's really just like confidence and kind of inspiring everyone, kind of getting through a lot of shit, like a lot of really bad kind of times. Yeah, it's the same, like, and we've sort of grown with her as well, like, era, so she's just amazing. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Um, do you know the questions? No. <laughs> that would be why. Has she influenced your life and if so, how? Um, she has changed my life because I got bullied a lot in school so she helped me through that. Like my conf she made me more confident, if that makes sense. You know? She made you blunder as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get pictures to prove that. Sure. <laughs> so yeah, you know. Cool. What would you say is your favourite ever Lady Gaga song? It's got to be Born This Way. I've got it tattooed as well. Really? Yeah. May we have a look? It's like along my arm. Oh, and she signed my wrist as well. And it's like somewhere down my arm. <laughs> I don't know. I can see Born This and then it, the show doesn't go any higher than that. Born This Way is like there. Born This Way? I don't see a why. We'll get there in the end, I'm there sure. Oh, oh, yeah, there we go. Born This Way. <laughs> got there. I don't know. I, it's Do you remember the question? Yes, I remember the question this time, but I just don't know. I love them all. Honestly, I love more of the unreleased songs. Like I could name some. Like Filthy Pop is probably one of my faves because I just like love all the unreleased stuff. It takes you like back to when you're first a fan. Mm, it's really hard to choose because they're all kind of different. But I really like kind of like Dance in the Dark, and then. I really like a new one applause. I think that one's like a kind of a completely different to all, everything else she's done, so it's kind of in a completely different direction for everything, really. Cool. And if you could ask her any question, what would it be and why? Adopt me. We've been having a lot of them today. <laughs> any reason why? I don't know. Her life's just so much better. Like, she's just what she wants. And like, she's amazing and she's a role model to so many people. And she's just beautiful, so yeah. Actually, no, can I change that? I'd like to be a makeup artist. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's what I'd like to be. So if you could ask her anything, yeah. you'd tell her to sack her makeup artist? Yeah, I'd tell her to sack Tara and hire me. <laughs> or just hire me and Tara, like we can just be friends. I don't know if she wants to share the payload. Then, uh... She will. Tara's a lovely person. I'm sure she wouldn't mind sharing. Um. I don't know, because every time I met Gaga, I just froze, so I, I don't know, I wouldn't know what to say. You seem to be saying that a lot throughout this interview. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. I'd ask her if we could go like nightclubbing or something, because I'm sure me and Gaga would have a great time after a few bottles of wine, to be honest. <laughs> Who doesn't? Not me and Gaga. <laughs> I literally have no idea. I think there's like so many things you could ask her, really, but... I don't know really. Just what's it like to be her, but like she's crazy, so I don't know what what's, what really goes through her head. Cool. How long have you guys been camping? Six hours. Six hours. Yeah. That's crazy, considering the gigs tomorrow. Yeah, but considering how many people have been here like longer than us, it's not that shocking, really. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Why do you love Lady Gaga? You're probably, he's a bigger fan than I am, but I like her because of like, I know this sounds really weird, but I like like what she represents, like about like being yourself and like gay pride and like just standing up for who you are, like Born This Boy Ball says other it people, all. Like being compassionate towards yeah. other people and not like, hating and trying yeah. to stop every, all the bullying, everything, trying to take all that down, yeah. things like that. That's and the music. Yeah, her music is really good too. <laughs> Just drop that in there. Has she influenced your life, and if so, how? Yeah, I think she's influenced everybody's life. Because, like, people try to stop the bullying, and so everybody's kinder in schools. Well, try to be anyway. And then, like, with the lyrics of the songs, and they give people meaning, and they want to carry on their life, and everything like that. So she stopped loads of suicides, things like that. So it's just really nice everything she's done. and helping other people through what she loves doing as well? Um, I think that, like, from my perspective, from what I've seen, sorry, you might shut up if you're saying this, is that, like, just for people I know, and this is why I love her so much, that whole, like, gay pride thing, again, I think just helps so many people accept it and, like, just deal with the fact that 
you might get bullied, but just be who you are and don't let people knock you down. That, that's the best bit, really. <laughs> what would you say is your favourite Lady Gaga song? Hair and the Edge of Glory. Why? I don't know, they just got so much meaning in both songs. Do you know what? I will always love. Do you know what? I don't even know if you know the proper name for it. Disco Stick. Love Game. Love Game. I love that song. It's always in my head because that is like the first lady. I would like paparazzi and that were on the telly, obviously. But that was just the first song that saw me on Lady Gaga because I thought it was brilliant. And I think I started to go digging. You were showing at me for like a week because I would stop singing it and I kept singing bits of it wrong and stuff. <laughs> And if you could ask Lady Gaga any question, what would it be and why? I'd like to know how she is, because like, nobody ever asks her that and everything like that. You just ask, like, what's she going to do next? I just like to know how she's feeling after like everything that's happened with the leg. I just want to know how she is in herself. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Um, what would I would ask God 10,000 different things. Um, Pick one. One, <laughs> okay. Um, I would ask her, like, if... I would just want to know that, like, if she wasn't doing music and performance, what would she be doing? Because she seems to love it so much. And, like, nobody can imagine her doing anything else. But, like, obviously she followed her dream and she did what she wanted, but did she ever have, like, a fallback or was she just going to do this forever, no matter what? <laughs> How long have you been queuing? Um, well, we started queuing on Tuesday at the hotel just to see her, but then we've just come here this morning. So, like 12 hours now. You've been here since, you've been camping since Tuesday. Yeah, to see her, to try and meet her have you had at the what, hotel. Have yeah. you had like, the whole experience with like the marshmallows and the campfire? And... No, not yet. <laughs> it's more like vodka and coke, not marshmallows and campfire. Well, that sounds like my kind of camping trip. <laughs> I've just been camping from today because I live far away. Where, do you, where have you come from? Scotland. I could have, I should have guessed that, considering the accent. What part of Scotland? Glasgow. Oh, no way. I've heard it's nice in parts, but we won't go too far into that, for sure. Um, why do you love Lady Gaga? Um, well, basically because she's perfect. Like, that's basically it. But because she's got amazing music and she's got such a good image and message to all the fans and everything like that. Um, well, mainly because of her talent. She's so talented, but like, she's just like an inspiration and she helped me through so much. Um, so I couldn't thank her anymore for that, really. So that's why I love her. <laughs> Has she influenced your life, and if so, how? Does she what? How she, if, has she influenced your life and if so, how? Um, well, I feel like she's made me a better person and given me better views on life and yeah, she like I've made so many friends through her and like friends that I'll probably keep for a lifetime for future Gaga concerts and everything. That's probably um, well, like Emma said, I made so many amazing friends through Gaga, and like she's taught me how to be a stronger, braver person, and she's just helped me so much. Like, can't thank her enough. No. 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 What would you say is your favourite Lady Gaga song? Shiza. Why? Just because it's swearing. Well, or... no, but it's just. The production of like, it, the and like when you see it live as well, it's just the choreo. Make, but if we're talking <laughs> about the message of the song, "Marry the Night," yeah. Why? Because it's about like it's just like when even when times are really, really, really bad, no matter how bad it is, you can always pick yourself back up, and you got to keep trying and trying and trying, and yeah, that's why that's like my favorite song. So, "Shy Star" and "Marry the Night." Mine is probably Shizer as well. For the same reason? Or? Yeah, for the same reason. It was probably seeing it live that made me like really love it. Just the choreography and everything, it was so good. If you could ask Lady Gaga any question, what would you ask and why? <laughs> oh, no. oh my gosh, um, man. Uh, what would you ask her? 
I don't even know what I'd ask her. I just want um, If you could only wear three designers for the rest of your life, who would it be? Why? Because she wears so many different designers, like all her clothes, all her outfits are different, but like if she had to choose three designers, why would it be? And yeah, why would she wear them for the rest of her life? I can't top that. I can't top that question. Um, I don't even know. I don't know what question I'd ask her. I'd just probably fangirl if I ever have to ask her a question. I wouldn't be a good interviewer, basically. To be fair, neither am I. <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, if you could have dinner with three people dead or alive, who would it be?